On the left hand side, RT-PCR RT sudden plot analysis clearly showed that the Marosoma derived, Marosoma -derived uh, cells express the cardiomyocyte specific uh, C, uh, transition factors such as NKX2.5, in, I mean CSX, or GATA4, TF1. And therefore, the, the, at least in vitro, the cell can, uh, can, uh, can express a cardiomyocyte specific phenotype in terms of the gene expression and the morphology and immunohistochemical uh, analysis. Time course of uh, beating in martial muscles. The cell, uh, the cells start to beat at two weeks after induction. At four weeks, the cells beat synchronously. At larger view, here, you will see the uh, certain some cell has a different rhythm from neighboring cells. I call this in vitro arrhythmia. So the uh, the um, well, our collaborator, a surgeon, this guy, Dr. Gojo, injected uh, injected stroma cell labeled with beta galactosis into the mouse heart. This is anterior wall, lateral wall, and the posterior wall and the left ventricle. He inject uh, this surgeon injects a labeled cell in, in like this. And the injectors, uh, injectors uh, clearly differentiate into the cardiomyocytes in the heart. The, this uh, cardio, cardiac muscle cell can be distinguished from a skeletal muscle cell by the presence of uh, branching fibers like this. You will see the branching here, here, right? Branching is here. We can see a lot of uh, this kind of. Uh, we can see a number of this kind of branches in the in the uh, in the injected molecules. Well, now the skeletal muscles. In vivo myogenesis by the stroma cells could be observed. In vitro, in, in vivo. Skeletal muscle could be differentiated from uh, stroma cells. Green fluorescence of uh, green fluorescence of mm, EGFP label cell in the uh, skeletal muscle specific marker desmin and the match of the GFP and the rhodamine red clearly express the injected cell in differentiate into the skeletal muscle. Alignment of the implanted cell observed in this study was very parallel to the host myocytes. This suggests that the donor cell possibly coordinates with, with coordinate with the host muscle cell and strengthen, may strengthen the contraction. Bone marrow stroma cell, okay, bone marrow stroma cell. Uh, are able to differentiate into osteogenic, chondrogenic, adipogenic, cardiomyogenic, and myogenic lineage. All of them are limited to mesoderm derived origin. One day, a graduate student told me that a certain type of marostroma cell started to form uh, axon like bone processes by the use of demethylating agents. The stroma cell, uh, t uh, stroma cell. Uh, with a new light like uh, new light like long processes were pointed for a neuron spe neuron specific uh, marker TUJ1. The cells without any long processes were negative for this marker. The differentiated cell we performed the uh, we performed uh, the immunohistochemical analysis on the these differentiated cells. The cell, uh, some type of cells are pointed for neuron specific markers such as TUJ1, HU, NUN, astrocyte specific marker GFAP, and oligodendrocyte specific marker Galactocerebrosis. 
the percentage of the uh, these marker positive cells are less than 10 percent and so uh, we performed uh, we treated the uh, uh, nagging uh, inhibitor for uh, bone morphogenic protein to the, the stroma cells this transplantation uh, this trans uh, trans differentiation was enhanced by nagging nagging uh, inhibitor of morph bone morphogenetic protein in comparison with five other cytokines. Uh, I mean the uh, the new uh, the differentiated cells have a bright round cytoplasm, long processes, and terminal triangle path. With this Nogin protocol, the uh, the percentage of the TUJ1 TUG1 positive cells are more than 50%. So I wanted to see the uh, functional, uh, I want to perform the functional assay of the uh, marrow stroma derived new ones with uh, new Nogin protocol. The stroma derived new ones uh, started to respond to the depolarized stimulus as functional um, mature neurons. I I treated the differentiated cells with the depolarizing stimuli, and uh, yes, he, here the cell clearly responds to the depolarizing stimuli. This type of uh, uptake or uh, the increased uptake of uh, of calcium was observed when the cells are treated with depolarizing stimuli, glutamate, or acetylcholine. I mean neurotransmitters. In addition to the murine cells, I wanted to investigate the characteristic of uh, human marrow stroma cells. Human mesenchymal stem cell by transferring the uh, uh, the human cell reach, uh, reaches the senescence after a limited number of cell division. This is a sort of as uh, we could call it uh, we call this senescence, a sort of cell aging. To obtain a large number of cells, we attempted to prolong the lifespan and human mesenchymal cells by transferring human uh, human telomerase, uh, papillomavirus E7 and E6. The transfected cells retain the pluripotency into the adipocyte, myocytes, and the ocelocytes, in vitro and in vivo. To investigate whether the gene modified stroma cell can differentiate into the skeletal myocytes in vivo, we injected human stroma cells into the uh, thigh muscle. Here, I injected the cells into the thigh muscle and, uh, in, uh, of uh, immunodeficient mice NOD, skin, IL2 gamma receptor gamma uh, knockout mice. Surprising that transplanted cells moved between the uh, muscular bundles and they never made a mass, a big mass, in the, in the injected site. Some of them obviously differentiate into the myocyte and the differentiated myocyte exhibit the striation here. These results indicate that human stroma cells with extended lifespan can differentiate into the myositic lineage and then and thus potentially serve as a highly useful cell source for myositic transplantation. In the last slide, I am now established a catalog of human mesenchymal cells with retention of differentiation capabilities. And I also wanted to make, uh, attach the exp expression profiles, profilings of these cells. One can inject the mesenchymal stem cells after transdifferentiation or conversion by appropriate induction into the target organs. So, in summary, what I like want to demonstrate is that marrow stroma are expected to be a good source of cell therapy in addition to embryonic stem cells and fetal cells. Last but not least, I would like to acknowledge my collaborators listed here, especially uh, Professor Ikeda, 
who's gonna be a speaker in the next next session. He provides us excellent moral, human moral stroma and the permission of uh, internal Akeo University internal ethical committee. These experiments are approved by the IRB. I thank you all very much. Yeah, and. Uh,